Go ahead. All right. Crying out loud. Dynamite on Wednesday night. Chris Jericho defeated Juventud Guerrera in the opener. And uh, Dave thought that Juventud was uh, one of the best workers on the show. Dave's in a good mood. Sometimes. I think I watched a different match. I mean, yeah. he was fine. Let me put it this way. <laughs> when I heard Jericho versus uh, Juventud Guerrera in 2021, and I've heard a lot of stories about Juventud Guerrera, this did, in fact, exceed my expectations, maybe greatly. But I would not say that Juventud was one of the best workers on the entire show. Jericho won with the Judas Effect off the top. Wardlow attacked him afterwards. It is Jericho versus Wardlow in the fourth labor, which is the final labor before he faces MJF. Mm. We got these blokes that are just like, they're itching. They're itching. You know what's funny is like for weeks now, everybody, including Lance Storm, has been asking who the fifth labor is going to be. It turns out the fifth labor is MJF, which, by the way, has been the story from day one. But for whatever reason, everybody thought there were five labors and then MJF. And apparently I'm the bad guy because <laughs> I'm just the loudest person. So I'm the I'm the one that is just a complete fool in this situation. Even though, like our chat here at the beginning of the show, they were like, what? MJF is a fifth labor? A guy on the, this guy on the board's all up in arms. And meanwhile, everyone else on the board is like, what? MJF is the fifth labor? Well, yes, MJF is the fifth labor. MJF is not... He is not the referee next week. There was a, uh, there was a faux pas where MJF came out and he said, I, next week, to make sure things are fair and square... I'll be out there. And then and then Jim Ross said, he'll be the referee. But he's not going to be the referee. But no one else corrected Jim Ross in the moment. And so for an hour, I was sitting there thinking that MJF was going to be the referee. And then they uh, announced that uh, that MJF was not the referee. So, so MJF was never going to be the referee. But because of the way that things went on the show... It sounded like either somebody messed up or they changed their minds. From day one, MJF was not going to be the referee. And uh, there was a combination of disasters that led to uh, apparently only me thinking that MJF was going to be the referee. And then it turned out that he is not. Oh, God, everybody get the pitchforks and torches out for JR. You know, if I... Actually, it's for me. It's for me. Well, they should always be out for you. Somebody should be chasing you up a mountain right now. Hangman Page and the Evil uh, the evil Uno and the Dark Order, they've all gone their separate ways, which played into something later. We had Moxley, Kingston, and Darby versus the former Ever Rise and Daniel Garcia. The highlight of which was uh, Matt Martell, as he used to be called, now Matt Lee, sliding out of the ring and marking out for Sting that the real Sting was here. And then Darby wiped this bloke out. It was he awesome. Just, Killed oh this gosh. poor guy. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, Coffin man. drop finish. The baby faces won. Uh, that was that was a fun time. Great visual. Great, great, great camera work. All that stuff. They announced that Gallows and Anderson are defending the Impact Tag Team titles on Dynamite next week against the Dark Order. So Impact Tag Team titles next week on the show. Christian defeated the Blade to become the number one contender. He has vowed to go out there and stir up something that was bleeped off the show, because there's a quota of the number of times you can say the S-word, he's going to stir it up with the Elite next week. So it does appear it will be Christian against Kenny Omega at the pay-per-view. Which, as I've noted before, if CM Punk is debuting at All Out against Darby, then you could have Kenny Omega defend his title against whoever nick wayne it doesn't matter the show's gonna sell out and trust me i think kenny omega and christian are likely able to have a good world championship match hopefully he can outwork everybody right brian Britt baker and red velvet will be taking place on the rampage debut for the title uh, which will probably lead to an angle and we'll know who Britt's opponent is at the pay-per-view which i would guess would be thunder rosa she's going to be a heel in pittsburgh 
No. Blows me away. Well, she's she is a heel. She's going to be but they've pretty to be much, presented, yeah. They've pretty much decided, eh, they're going to cheer her, who cares? Well, that's we why can't I can't believe they're, they're doing that match with, I mean, Red Velvet, uh, to me, looks like one of their, their baby faces on the come up in the women's division, you know, going to be one of their signature people. To me, it just blows me away. I get it. She can be bitchy Britt Baker, but she can still, I mean, to me... Fans are forcing this into her being a babyface. There's no way she goes anywhere, let alone Pittsburgh, and people aren't going to cheer Britt Baker. With a Hangman Page promo, and he was attacked by the Elite, and the Dark Order came out to save them, but then Uno and Grayson said, no, go to the back. He demanded to be left alone, and so he was beaten unmercifully by the Elite. Dan Lambert's coming back next week, and he's got backup. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> Miro beat Lee Johnson in a great match. Everybody knew that Lee Johnson was going to lose, but they gave Lee Johnson, and I'm talking they meaning Miro, he sold his ass off for this guy, and it was a really good match until finally he crushed him with the game over, but that one was good. Layla Hirsch beat the Bunny. This was not as good as the last match. Layla Hirsch is now the number one contender for the NWA women's title, which is held by Goliath. <laughs> they brought out uh, Camille. And heels. You know, um, speaking of Buddy Wayne, he was uh, 5'4", and uh, he married a woman who, I mean, she's got to be 6'2". And... That's why, by the way, if you've ever seen Buddy's Son, I so wanted to do a match with Buddy's Son because I wanted to do the bully gimmick with the little kid. Well, the kid's 16 and 6'2 now, so, I mean, this match is out the window. It'd be ridiculous. But anyway, she also would always go everywhere in heels. It's like, you're 6'2. You have to be 6'6. So Camille's out there, and she's like 6'10, and uh, Layla Hirsch is like 4'2. So you know the story they're trying to tell, but holy smoke, she's tall. And then finally in the main event, Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes. What a match. Four minutes. Cody just sold and sold and sold. I'm going to talk more on the Brian and Vinny show tonight because I don't have time now. But that spot they did through the table, the greatest. And I'll explain why tonight. Yes. Cody barely gets back in the ring. Halister Black does the kick. And for whatever you want to say about Jim Ross, and uh, Jim Ross made a huge mistake when he said that MJF was the ref. Jim Ross doesn't like to know who's going to win. So he doesn't know who's going to win. So he uh, Malachi Black hits his kick on Cody, and he puts one foot on his chest. And JR dismissively goes, you're not beating him like that. And it was a three count. And all of a sudden, JR just... I mean, he marked out bigger than any of the fans. He is just, he can't believe what, he can't believe his eyes. So Malachi destroys Cody Rhodes. The place is going crazy. Uh, like, you know how long this dude was in a closet? And one four-minute match, and he's like the hottest guy in AEW. Because there's a way to book people, and there's a way not to book people. If you truly, truly want to get people over. Cody then teases he's going to retire. He's taking off his boots. He's doing this tearful promo. And Malachi Black hits him in the back with a crutch. This was an awesome ending to the show. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.